we have finally got the big leak we've been looking for. And we have official images of the new Phoenix 8 lineup. And I can't believe they actually put in one of the features that people have been asking for. I'm gonna cover that and everything else in this leak right now. German website WinFuture has all of the official images of the new Phoenix lineup as well as the new Enduro. As I've said in previous videos, the announcement of these watches is coming officially from Garmin before the end of the month, before the end of August that is, with the new watches arriving early September. Now on this site they mention there's no technical data other than the size of the watches, which is engraved on the watches, so we're just going to be looking through the images to get whatever information we can. Let's go. Let's start with the Phoenix E. This is proposed to be the Econo model of the lineup and will come in at 47 millimeters. It looks like the current gen Elevate sensor is being used here and it appears to have the same styling as the current gen Epix. On the site they say, and this is translated from Google, so it says this model will inherit the LCD panels. I'm assuming what they mean is that it's going to have the same display as the previous gen Epix. So to sum it up, I think what we're looking at here is basically last generation's Epix, although it has the styling of the base Epix Gen 2 with the stainless steel bezel and body, and that's repackaged as a Phoenix to sit at the lower price point than the new Phoenix 8 lineup. Now I had originally guessed that this would be an MIP display, but looking at these images, it looks like an OLED screen to me. Now before we get to the main event, let's stop off at the Enduro 3. The Enduro 3 will come in at 51 millimeters and have solar charging capabilities. You can see the sensor on the back here does look to be updated to the version 5 of the Elevate sensor. Now the previous generation Enduro 2 had been out quite some time ago, so it's getting the new sensor put in. And it's also getting titanium and the build for the bezel, all the things you'd expect with Enduro. Stylistically, there's a little bit of a flare around the start button and you get the same colored accents around the face of the watch that you did on the Enduro 2 as well. And of course, the Enduro also comes with the now customary nylon band. And it does look like the MIP screen lives on in the Enduro lineup. So you could definitely expect an insane amount of battery life out of this watch. It's going to go forever. Okay, now let's get to it. The Phoenix 8. Quickly before I do, I'm sorry, but I have to mention, my channel is just getting going. Please show some support with a thumb, stick around with a sub. Every other channel I've seen covering these leaks and all this information does so with some cheap AI voices and generated content. Take a moment to support a real person making real videos. It would mean a hell of a lot to me. Back to it. Okay, we know the Phoenix 8 is gonna be coming in three sizes, although only the 47 and 51 millimeters are shown in these images. The room with third size is going to be 43 millimeters, which is up a smidge from last generation of 42 millimeters. Now the front of the watch features a pretty cool looking accent piece that sits between the start and back buttons, although if that's not your thing, it looks to be available with just a black strip there as well. The top model with the orange accent appears to be the base model as it's made from stainless steel, while the other two pictured are titanium and sapphire. And after taking a look at the sensor, it is visually the same as the Elevate 5 and the Epix Pro. While this doesn't mean that there won't be any new updates made to the sensor, it does mean that whatever changes were made were small enough that a redesign was not required. And of course, everyone's favorite feature from the latest generation, the flashlight, is coming back. Okay, now let's take a look at the UI. It is definitely updated and modernized quite a bit, and more in line with other recent releases from Garmin. The watch faces are pretty busy, but I think they're pretty stylized, and I could see these looking pretty cool with some different metrics thrown in there. You can see the weather app now has an image showing a nice sunny day. I'm sure the effects for other weather conditions are pretty cool. And there's what appears to be a scuba activity here. Uh, I, I, I don't do scuba i've never scuba dove so i don't know if that's new if it is let me know in the comments uh, i'm not familiar with that and there's some more expected elements with suggested workouts there's maps showing a navigation screen and the training readiness screen has a 
different fonts, some different fonts going on, and a nice updated background as well. And now here's the big one. It looks like we're getting a mic and a speaker. This UI looks similar to what's available on the Venue 3 when it connects to cell phones for dictation. This is definitely one of the major pieces of connectivity that I was hoping for in this watch. I'm still somewhat hopeful for an LTE edition for the Phoenix 8, and I hope satellite data is on the way in the coming years, as I mentioned in this recent video. But for now, we can say for sure we're getting some form of microphone connection with our phones, which I would assume means dictation capabilities, which is a lot better than having to use the canned responses from Garmin, and would likely indicate we're getting a speaker as well. So here it is, the Phoenix 8. We've only got a couple weeks to wait before we find out all the technical specs and what it means as a training tool and honestly, a cool piece of technology. So is this what you were expecting? Are you digging the accent colors on the design or do you want something a little more utilitarian? Does the UI look right on a Phoenix for you or are you struggling to see a more modern aesthetic on the classic rugged Phoenix line? And finally, are you excited to get a mic and a speaker included on your watch? Do you see yourself using a feature like that? Let's talk it out in the comments and be sure to subscribe to get the latest rumors, news, and reviews for the Garmin Phoenix 8 and fitness gear and workouts in general. I'm Dave and this is Dave Does Fitness. Have an awesome day and stay fit.